the crowd, but they're certainly high and have been very vocal, got a little more vocal as some of these folks start coming in. Never uh, seen Times Square quiet. Yeah, let me go ahead. That's and weird. Uh, uh, to you right now, George, but uh, but the place has gone quiet this evening. Something I never thought you'd hear about Times Square on election day. Holy hell! Yeah. It's a different kind of Times Square right now. We're still waiting. That's for Dark Square. Trump don't call it Dark Stop Square. In Pennsylvania, they could decide our next president. Donald Trump only 26 electoral votes away from. Oh the my race. God! Uh, What's with these commercials? Uh. As well. we'll be right back. Introducing the new ready, 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 get ready for your New Year's res resolution, dude. Because y'all better have, have a resolution next four years. Don't vote for Trump. Vote for a black president. Jesus Christ, dude. I just never this way. Like I said, I'm fucking moving to Canada, bro. Fuck this shit. Peace. Fuck that. Why Fuck that. What the hell is she doing? Forrest Whitaker. Trump is winning Arizona bad. When he's winning. Like the Charlie Sheen winning. Winning. Like. Oh my god, I'm going to, I'm going to lose my sister. Oh shit, I'm going to lose a lot of family members. Especially for your sister. She, she don't even have papers. I was, I was born in, in Florida, or, or like uh, Miami, Florida. <laughs> Which hot water wars with a Renai tankless water heater? You're in the supply of hot water for everything you need to do. Renai hot water for all. Like if we live in, I feel like if we live in Trump world, we're gonna live in back to George Washington world. Jesus, I'm moving fucking Canada. Canada. Designed for dependable relief. More doing chores for mom, Pearl? Fuck this shit out of mouth. Fuck this shit out of mouth. More doing chores for dad, Pearl. If any of y'all didn't want to see that, y'all should move to Canada. At least they have a decent place over there. At least he, he, he can't control it. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. The pursuit of healthier. It begins from the second we're born. Because healthier doesn't happen all by itself. It needs to be earned every day. Using wellness to be can't live in Trump world and the bullshit. Life can be made better by millions of others. As a health services and innovation company, Optum powers modern health care by connecting every part of it. So while the world keeps searching for healthier, we're here to make healthier happen. Optum. Healthier is here. <laughs> The man who revolutionized magic returns with an ABC television event. You've never seen these people react like this. I can't even take a laugh. Take a play Beyond Magic, Tuesday, 10 9 Central Rock, ABC. Coming up on 1.30 in the East Coast, 10.30 p.m. on the West Coast, and Donald Trump is coming up on those 270 electoral votes he needs. He has 244 right now, to 215 for Hillary Clinton. He is also leading a lot of the states you see right there still in gray. He is ahead right now in the state of Wisconsin. He is ahead right now. Motherfuckers on the ruin the world. Ahead right now and close in the state of Pennsylvania. We also have some news out of the state of Pennsylvania. Senators race there. The Republicans in the world. That's one defeating Democrat. Katie McGinty right there, 49 to 47 right there. Uh, Pat Toomey played a cagey game with his support of Donald Trump and his opposition to Donald Trump over the course of, of this campaign. He prevailed, got the victory. 
Uh, Tell me if I'm dreaming. Right. I'm dreaming, right? It's all just a mirage. For the Republican Party. Because the Republican Party. Like, I literally just had a, like, a dream today. Donald Trump went in. Fuck that. Look at these Senate races. They are winning. Indiana, they've won Indiana, they've won Florida, they've won Wisconsin, won, they, most Republicans have frankly written off. Now they've won Pennsylvania. New Hampshire is very close. Uh, Kelly Ayotte may win in New Hampshire, and, and Roy Blunt is ahead in Missouri. Republicans are going to keep control of the Senate. The question is, what the crystal race, is what does the Republican Party stand for? Because these Republican senators went on a very different agenda than Donald Trump's. I would add to that. I think the Democratic Party needs to have the exact same conversation. To go along with what Stephanie was saying is, when they face this election, they're going to. If, if this continues and the trend gets, he's Trump going to win. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and, and as always, support the channel. Losses. Everybody thought the uh, Republican Party 30 days ago, 60 days yeah. ago. Well, the Democratic Party needs to face, look, take a long look in the mirror. He's going to win. I'm not going to end the video. I'm probably going to end the video. Ten minutes. 34% white males rejected the Democratic Party in almost the same proportion as not white. It's one of the things we saw with David Muir, you're also seeing the other If he wins, he's going to ruin the world. What she needed to do with the world. Yeah, he's going to ruin the world. The numbers here. You people are doing an effort to get non whites. We're talking Hispanic voters, African voters, and take a look. This is a far right world. President Obama did in not, 2008, not then 2012. And look what she did the uh, tonight. They saw you in the universe and the world. 10 points she okay. lost to so what Obama was able to do. Oh, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump because four years ago. He's going to make America great again. Look, he gained 11 points here. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake is the story of tonight. We're still waiting on the show. But I don't want to vote for Hillary Clinton because she's aware. I don't want to vote for Donald Trump. Well, who? Well, he's going to be president. 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 Fuck you, dude. The numbers for Barack Obama did not have that same enthusiasm for Hillary Clinton. I don't think anyone had uh, the expectation that African Americans would have the same level of enthusiasm as they would for the first African American uh, president. But what I, what I hope the story tonight is is where our country goes from now. There's a lot. It, there's a big difference between uh, fighting to win and being a leader. Um, when you're a candidate, it's great to have a, a, a winning strategy. A liberal, a, a baseball. Y'all feel my pain, but right? I don't think anybody. I feel it. A supporter of Trump Y'all feel my pain. Republican can say and this one pain thing, one is going to grow. You actually do to to um to to keep any of the promises that he's made. Not one thing. You well, I kind of get the immigration one. Deals, you don't know, yeah, not gonna build close the, the borders. How is he going to bring jobs back? Nobody can say what those policies are. But so I don't I get it. That story yeah, is a story that gets going done. That is going to be a big challenge for him if indeed he does become the next president of the United States. Still 26, 26 electoral votes short of what he needs right now. 244 to 215 for Hillary Clinton. We'll be right back. Who the fuck are y'all ruining shit? Fuck. I'm out. Smooth King out.